Hey, 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 collective. Thank y'all for coming to my channel. For y'all that don't know, I am Bucky. And of course, this is Tea Time Tarot, where we tap in with spirit and get the tea on your situation or whatever it is spirit wants you to know right now. All of the music that you hear in the background, I do not own the rights to any of that music. It is just simply used as a tool to help me tap into you guys' energy. Also, all of my readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below. Again, thank you all for being here. To my subscribers, I thank you so much. You are greatly appreciated. You're helping the channel grow. To anyone that's here that has yet to uh, subscribe, I thank you for joining us. Um, please take a moment, if you will, to subscribe to the channel as well as hit the notification button. That way you can be notified whenever I do upload. Okay, um, Collective, right off the bat, I heard uh, something to do with the music industry. I don't know if this going to have something to do with the reading or not. But um, I'm hearing something about somebody doesn't want to give someone the rights to their music or something like that. This person has a very angelic voice, very, very beautiful voice. But they're dealing with some very shady producers very shady these people could even like be trying to coerce um this person or you collective if, if it's resonating into some type of sexual act in order to gain some type of rights or something to some kind of music also the person that i'm speaking to it looks like you left home maybe you and your mother or somebody y'all weren't on the same page you could be like a fire sign with water in your chart or air in your chart, but either way, I do see a fire sign possibly here. You may just, your head may just be all in the clouds because you thought that this move that you made was going to be like your wish fulfillment. It's looking like, uh, to me, I don't know why I'm hearing genie in a bottle. But yeah, you thought that this move was going to bring you wish fulfillment, but I see that it's gotten you nowhere but all in your head and in your emotions. Um, if this is you collective, you could be dealing with possibly an air sign with fire in their chart or taking how it resonates. Yeah, I can see that this person has an ego about them and they do have something very dark and demonic attached to them. Yeah, I'm getting like real um, something about music, something about a studio and a producer here. Yeah, somebody uh, pretty much... It's like you got into this situation. This could have even been you moving away to be with a partner who you thought was like your wish fulfillment. And this person turned out to be the exact opposite. It's like this person presented themselves in one way. But when you actually got to know them or got to where you were going to live with this person, you got to see that this person had a really dark side about them. This person is very emotionally detached. It's just like a whole lot of emotions and everything right now between you two seem to be up in the air. And it's looking like you want to go back, but you're not sure if you're going to be welcome. Maybe you and your mother had some type of words. Things got emotional, emotional between you two um, or, you know, very heated. Yeah, someone here also uh, may be trying to get you to um, do some type of uh, drugs here mind altering drugs this person seems to be whoever this producer or this boyfriend or whoever it is they seem to be uh under the influence of drugs and alcohol quite frequently so they could be trying to get you to indulge as well yeah you could be an aquarius or you are dealing with one So let's see here. Holy Spirit, can you give us a little more on this situation? Why did this person leave home, Holy Spirit? Why did they leave home and why do they feel like that? Yeah, because you thought this move was going to, like I said, bring you some type of victory, success, recognition. Yeah, you thought this was going to bring you fame and fortune. Holy Spirit, correct Holy Spirit. Again, thank you all for being here and allowing me to read for you. If the video is resonating so far, could you please go ahead and like the video? And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you all in advance as well. Yeah. 
we have the nine of cups yeah this person left home thinking that they this was a blessing like they felt like this is their wish fulfillment yeah this person turned their back on everything and everyone to go and chase after whatever this dream is yeah but we got the knight of pentacles when they got there or when you got there it wasn't all that it cracked up to be everything is moving slow there was no real commitment to no real i heard growth in this situation now we have the strength core leo energy you could be a leo or you're dealing with him hmm. yeah part of this has got you really upset and like i said in your feelings because you felt like this was gonna be your end all be all this was your ticket and i'm just i'm hearing now that someone pulled the the wool over your eyes. Someone thought you were an easy target. That's what I'm hearing. Someone thought you were an easy target collector. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, we got the page of wands. Hmm. Yeah. Then we have the temperance. Yeah, you. Someone here thought that whatever this plan was, it was like this is too. This is so good. This has to be for me. This is a gift from God. I'm willing to give anything a go. And this involved leaving home. This possibly involved moving to a whole other state, or something. But yeah, this situation is definitely not going however um, you planned it, or take how it resonate whoever planned it out to go. Everything right now is pretty much at a standstill. Yeah, I see someone trying to calm themselves down because they feel like they've been lied to. Yeah, we got the Page of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. So we have Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, as well as um, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo out here. Yeah, it's like someone sat and watched you. And they made this plan to come towards you and make this offer to you whole time knowing that this offer was really full of holes. This person was very arrogant, very smug. But they, they showed you a whole different side, which made you feel like they were wish fulfillment. This person pretty much, like, I just heard played you like a fiddle. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this person thought you were a fool. It could be an Aries out here involved in this. Yeah, but this person definitely thought you were a fool collective. If this is resonating. Hmm. Yeah, someone here could also have like reddish brown hair. I don't know why that's significant. And it's something about your eyes. You can have like a... I don't want to, it's like a, like a kind of like an oriental, but ethnic look. I don't know why spirit is giving me that. Yeah, someone thought this offer was going to be solid when they got there. Possibly this Leo, but it wasn't. It was... It was pretty much smoke blowing up this person's ass. And actually, whoever I'm speaking to, I do see that you see exactly what's going on. But you're trying to temper yourself. You're trying to be very patient. You've been enlightened about this situation. Whoever this is, you're very spiritual. I see you meditate a lot. And it's like now you're ready to give all this up and go back. But you don't know how the people that you left behind are going to receive you. We have Aries, well, the Emperor Aries energy on the bottom of the deck again. So let's get into this. Nine of Cups. Let's get into this. Nine of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody made a very impulsive decision. To accept whatever this offer was. Yeah, a very impulsive decision. Yeah. But whatever this decision is, it's not moving forward. Whatever this opportunity that they thought they were getting, 
it wasn't real. It was just pretty much a hoax. It's cancer energy out here now. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there was no realness. Whoever this is, you are not using your intuition when it came to this situation. Because like I said, I'm talking to a very spiritual person. It was something about this offer that you had to think about and you like contemplated on it for a while. But it's like you wanted this so bad that you just jumped in head first. Yeah. And now you haven't you're you're wanting to walk away because the situation is disappointing. It is not what it what it cracked up to be. Holy Spirit, not a pinnacle. Not a pinnacle. Yeah, Spirit just even said you walked away from your home because y'all weren't getting along for some reason. It was like the, the love wasn't there as it was before. Yeah, now I have the Knight of the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Somebody is extremely all in their head and very, very emotional. Because this offer has pretty much fallen through. And they do not know what it is that they're going to do. Because like I said, whoever this is, take it how, how it resonates. Either you or someone around you or someone you're dealing with. They made a very impulsive decision that's really coming back to bite them in the ass. Yeah, well now we have the eight of wands. Someone could have even like cut off communication with uh someone in their family possibly even their mother because something just said you felt like your mother was trying to hold you back yeah it was it, you felt like it, you were disappointed because your family you felt like your family didn't support you in whatever this is that you were wanting to do yeah so you got this brand new opportunity. Someone contacted you about a brand new opportunity. And like I said, you contemplated on it for a while. But you thought this was your ticket. It was going to bring you fame and fortune. Yeah, you could definitely be a Leo. Some, a brand new opportunity. Someone offered this Leo a brand new opportunity in life, love, whatever. Yeah. They offered this Leo. It was like this Leo was going to have a reason to celebrate. You were going to just have people all around you. Just like honoring you, praising you. And that's not what happened. If this is a relationship, it's, as soon as you got to where you were going, you figured out that this person had put you in a third party. You figured this out. This person... In and out energy. In and out energy. Yeah. Someone here is very intuitive. But like I said, you weren't using your intuition when it came to this situation. But something in you enlightened you about this third party. Something you in you enlightened you about this little deal. This, this deal that was too good to be true. Mm-hmm. And now it's like you're having to, like, calm a part of yourself. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You thought that this was going to be, like, your fi your financial, let me see, blessing. You were going to be financially comfortable, financially free. And, yeah, no. It's like you're on the outside looking in, still trying to birth your idea on your own. Because everything fell through. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Someone here feels very alone. Yeah. But see, like I said, that deal fell through. The cycle only closed. It closed. Also, this relationship, yeah, when you got enlightened about this, you were out of there. You were like, I can take care of myself. I don't care what I have to do. I'm leaving. Also, someone here, you felt like your family, you could have been like a, you could be very intuitive, like I said. 
and you feel like your 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 family wasn't understanding of this and so that is why you left to go seek this new opportunity feeling unsupported can make you do a lot of things so it will have us making rash decisions yeah now we have the six of wands Whoever this is that offered you this brand new opportunity, this person watched you and planned it out. They watched you because they feel like, look, if I can get this person to, you know, come to me, I can, you know, have this victory, this success. Pretty much they wanted to ride your coattail. They offered you something that they weren't able to give simply because they were trying to get your gift. Yeah, you do have a brand new opportunity here, but you can't get it as long as you're dealing with whoever this is, spirit is saying. Yeah, because this person has narcissistic tendencies. Yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, clarifying the page of Wands. Hmm. Someone here. It's like they wanted to ride your coattails but weren't willing to help you do anything. I just heard they really didn't believe in you. This person really wanted to stop you. It's like this person wanted to ride your coattail, right, Collective? But once you start blowing up and getting all this attention and shit, this person wanted to stand in the way of that. Also, I'm talking to someone who's dealing with someone who did not want to work, period. They wanted you to be the breadwinner. And I'm talking to a woman who's dealing with a man who does not want to work. Yes. And this is very disappointing to you. Because you just you just wanted to build like this stability with this person, but the whole time this person is was is using you for what they think that they can gain from you from your success. So this person is showing no real emotions towards you. This person, yeah, they'll have sex with you, but they're not showing you any type of emotion. Seven of Pentacles. This person is focused on what you can give to them. How you can better their life. Yeah, whoever this is that you're dealing with now, whoever you left home for, this person is all about the pinnacles and the wand. This person goes around spreading love to, well, quote unquote love to everybody, not just you. Yeah, King, Queen of Swords. Look, this person does not see any type of value in you other than what it is that you can provide for them. And I'm just, I, I don't sugarcoat anything in my readings. And this is exactly what this is. This person sees no value in you. This person pretty much wants to ro ride your coattail, get what you have. And that's it. This is not going anywhere other than it's seeming like some type of business arrangement. You're in love. They're more about business. So it's like you are a business opportunity for this person. Yeah. Seven of Cups. This is all an illusion. This, this person fed you a whole lot of dreams. Hopes and dreams. But nothing real. It's nothing real here, Collective. It's like you can wait all you want to, but I'm just going to be real with you. There is no growth. There is no love. This person is only looking for what you can do for them, what you can give to them. This person doesn't even want forward movement with you. This person is not in love with you. And Ace of Swords, that's the truth. So if you came here looking for any type of truth and clarity on your situation, uh, collective, here it is. This person watched you and they saw you as some type of gullible business opportunity and they went for it. 
you fell for it. But take the energy how it resonates. Somebody fell for the okie doke here. And now they want to return. So let's see what will happen if you return real quick. Because I see that you all in your head about that. It's like you wish you had never made this move. I just heard that Carl, I think it's Carl Thomas. I wish I never met her at all. Maybe you found out somebody was married or had a whole other family. I don't know. I just saw the two of cups as well as the hierophant. So maybe you found out someone was already in a commitment. And you done did all this to be with this person or whatever this is. And it just turned out to be nothing. Yeah, this person was judging. Holy Spirit, what would happen? It could be a Taurus involved in the situation as well. What would happen if the collective returns? What would happen if the collective returns, Holy Spirit? What would happen if the collective returns? Eight of Swords. See, you ain't making no moves because you feel <laughs> you feel stuck. What would happen if the collective returns, Holy Spirit? So we got the Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Moon. I just heard you're tired of being left out in the cold. It's about to balance out. But see, nothing can get balanced out as long as you're keeping your mouth closed and you're not saying anything. Closed mouth don't get fed, collective. We all know that. Yeah, how the strength, the courage to own up to what you did, face your fears, and take this leap of faith back to where you know you belong. Because this right here, it ain't it at all. Hey, Let me get y'all a spell card. Again, on my channel, we don't practice any type of spells. These cards are just used to help you focus on what it is that will best help you in this situation right now. I just heard someone from wherever you left, someone is missing you. Yeah, new beginnings. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. It's time for you to go back home. It's time for you to go back home. You tried it. It's time for something new. If you have to try it three, four, five times, I'm sure that's what home is for. That is what home is for. Home is to get you back on your feet so you can have new beginnings. So go back home. Settle whatever this is with your, your parents or whoever this is that you left behind so you can get this new beginning. Because as long as you're stuck in this situation with whoever this person is that you possibly love and have all these romantic feelings for, spirit is not going to give you this opportunity, which I see that you deserve. But your gift is not to be shared with everyone collective. So keep that in mind. All right, y'all. It's been real. If, you, if the video resonated, please like the video and subscribe to my channel as well as hit the notification button so that you can be informed whenever I do upload. Again, I thank y'all so, so much for allowing me to read for y'all. And we'll get up again soon.